Ah, yes, yes. You see, you can't bait trim in the bush with your trusty trotter, can you? Now, how you all doing, you beautiful feckers? Welcome on in. So, a while back with DevStream 128, we got a very early look at the Sentient tile set and what to expect with, I guess, that new War Quest, whenever that drops. It was, of course, a very, very early, rough build of the tile set, so there was a lot of stuff not in it and a lot of stuff not working. However, everything was dark with loads of red thrown in for that extra edgy effect. You know, dark, bloody, scary, with sentient pathways and portals for us to use eventually once we get our hands on the tile set. But recently, we got an even better look at some of that sentient tile set, the textures on it and the lighting and so on, thanks to Steve's Twitter. Now, first of all, can I just say how damn creepy this looks? The wall is moving or it's as if it's alive and pulsing across that pattern the whole way down it. This is just one surface or one wall and it's pretty cool looking. Pretty weird, but pretty cool at the same time to have that kind of moving throughout your gameplay. But we also got a look at another section, which is this dark and red kind of really dimly lit room. Very fucking eerie looking, but the lighting adds to that kind of creepy factor. Now, maybe it's because I've spent the last few days on Destiny 2 gearing up through Shadowkeep, but it's got a very similar vibe, which I really, really enjoy that kind of dark, eerie vibe. And I'm hoping that the enemy spawns in the sentient tile set or the activities or game modes kind of fit that theme as well as we run through it. I think when they showed it off on Dev Stream 128, we got to see really large sentients off in the distance which weren't moving, but they looked like you might have to kill them before you advance that little bit further. Maybe not, maybe they were just scenery. But anyway, the new war is, I would imagine, right, and this is just me guessing, I would imagine it's well over a year away. You will probably forget about all of this by the time the new war actually comes out, but it does look pretty damn cool to see the lighting and the effects of what we can expect on that tile set. Now, it's not content, right? Content. Ah, jazz hands. It's not content, not yet anyway, but hopefully Railjack won't be too far away. Now, the other thing Steve showed off recently was the Corpus Capital Ship tile set, which is getting a much needed visual overhaul, kind of complete with larger rooms, wider hallways and corridors with better lighting, and even some dudes inside tubes. Now the openness or what wideness, I was gonna say thickness, <laughs> the openness of this tile set feels very similar to the Jupiter tile set. However, as it's already been pointed out by other Warframe players, the ship now looks almost barren we're going to need a lot of enemies to make this feel alive or to fill this capital ship up so that when you jump into it, it actually feels like there's a lot of enemies for you to fight your way through. If there's only two or three enemies spawning in in these massive corridors, then it's not going to feel, as I said, alive. Now, maybe the changes are being made to fit in with future phases of Railjack since it's just starting with Grenier before eventually going to Corpus and so on. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Sub for, well, you know the deal. You know the fucking deal by now. As always, thanks very much for watching.